Hello, and welcome to the channel. After the last match between the King Corso versus the Rottweiler, today we will compare the Belgian Melanois versus the American Pitbull. But before we get into this video, make sure you click on the subscribe button for more unlimited pet content. So which is better, the American Pitbull or the Belgian Melanois? Let's start the fight. Round 1 Breed Facts The Belgian Melanois is a medium to large breed of dog. They are bred primarily as a working dog for personal protection, detection, police work, search and rescue, however can make fantastic pets with the right owner. Historically, this breed was not really used as a combat dog. The Pit Bull the American Pit Bull descends from British Bull and Terrier, which were first imported into North America from the 1870s and were originally bred for bull baiting and dog fighting. And because of this heritage, they often show a tendency to attack other animals with a remarkable fiercity that may be contributing to the public stigma against the breed. Point goes to Pit Bull with a score of 1-0 for the Pit Bull. Round 2 General Appearance the Belgian Malinois is 65 to 75 pounds for male and 60 to 70 pounds for female, with a height of 24 to 26 inches for male and 22 to 24 inches for female. The American Pit Bull Terrier has a weight of 22 to 78 pounds and a height of 14 to 24 inches. This point goes to Malinois for a score of 1 to 1. Round 3 Characteristics The Belgian Malinois is an active, alert, confident, friendly, hardworking, protective, stubborn, and watchful. They are a highly playful breed and a little bit more sensitive than other dog breeds. Belgian Malinois may seem unfriendly sometimes due to their independence, but they are a social breed. The American Pit Bull Terrier is an affectionate, clownish, friendly, loyal, strong-willed, aggressive, courageous, and stubborn dog, but has average obedience intelligence. Pit Bull Terrier is a playful breed, but a little bit more sensitive than other dog breeds. Pit Bull Terriers are genuinely loyal, soft, and gentle, loving, and affectionate dogs towards their handlers, and also a social breed. Point goes to Pit Bull for this round. The score, two points to one. Round four, ability. Belgian Melanois are one of the best watchdogs but has a low chance of biting somebody and have an average tendency to nip, chew, play bite, or herd people. They also have an average prey drive, which means they don't have a high impulse to chase and catch something like a cat or any other small animals, but it might happen. But the Belgian Melanois strongly protect their territory. American Pit Bull Terrier are average watchdogs and an average defender, but has a high chance of biting somebody. They have a strong tendency to nip, chew, play bite, or herd people. And just like the Melanois, American Pit Bull Terriers also have an average prey drive, which means they don't have a high impulse impulse to chase and catch something like a cat or any other small animals, but it might happen. Now question for you, do you want your dog to be friendly with strangers or not? Let us know in the comments down below. So this last round is one point for the pit bull, so we're at three points to one. Round five, adaptability. The Belgian Malinois adapt very well to lifestyle changes and basically all living environments. Though they are not the best choice for an apartment lifestyle, but they don't mind being inside if you walk them several times every day. Belgian Malinois do best when a family member is at home during the day or if their workplace is dog friendly so they can take the dog at work. American Pit Bull Terrier adapt to lifestyle changes and different living environments quite okay usually, but they are not recommended for the apartment lifestyle. American Pit Bull Terriers do best when a family member is at home during the day or if their workplace is dog friendly so they can take the dog at work. Their great energy does not fit into living in an apartment, but the Pit Bull still fits better than a Malinois. One point to the Pit Bull, so it's four to two. Round number six, good with. Belgian Melanois are not the most stranger friendly dogs, but they are kid friendly and they usually recommended for elderly people. Belgian Melanois are average friendly towards cats and other dogs, and they are not good for novice owners due to their stubborn personality. American Pit Bull Terrier are average friendly towards strangers and they are also a kid friendly dog and are usually recommended for elderly people. But American Pit Bull Terriers are neither cat friendly nor dog friendly. And just like Melanois, the American Pit Bull are also not good for novice owners 
due to their stubborn personality. You better watch your cats and dogs when there's a pit bull around. This point goes to Melanois with a score of four points to three. Round seven, detection and search and rescue. Belgian Melanois can be trained to use its senses, mostly its smell, to detect substances such as explosives, illegal drugs, wildlife scat, currency, blood, and contraband electronics such as illicit mobile phones, and can be trained to use in search and rescue a valuable component in wilderness tracking, natural disasters, mass casualty events, and in locating missing people, though they usually don't like being on a boat. The American Pit Bull Terrier can also be trained to use its senses, mostly its smell, to detect substances such as explosives, illegal drugs, wildlife scat, currency, blood, and contraband electronics such as illicit mobile phones, but not in search and rescue, a valuable component in wilderness tracking, natural disasters, mass casualty events, and in locating missing people. And usually they don't like being on a boat either. So now we're tied four to four. Round eight, health factors. The Belgian Malinois is a healthy breed, but there are certain health issues that you should check with your vet regularly. They are mostly likely to have elbow dysplasia, epilepsy eye problems, and hip dysplasia. American Pit Bull Terrier tend to have more and frequent health issues than other breeds. They are most likely to have a demodetic mange, a hip dysplasia, and skin allergies. This point goes to the Malinois again. Four points to five. Round number nine, energy level. The Belgian Melanois are high energy dogs. They need a lot of exercise and don't need too much sleep. The American Pit Bull have a higher energy level than other dog breeds, but not quite like Melanois. They have an average exercise need, but are quite energetic dogs and don't spend too much time sleeping. One point goes to Melanois, four points to six. Round 10, last round, life expectancy. The Belgian Melanois live up to 12 to 14 years. The American Pitbull lives up to 10 to 14 years. And this last point will go to the Melanois with a score of four points to seven. The results are Melanois seven and Pitbull four. The winner is the Belgian Melanois.